Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 31 of Let's Play Hybrid Heaven, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright boys, this is it, the final boss. And we're gonna take on Diaz, of all people. Can't say I'm surprised about this, I expected that this would be our final fight right from the very beginning. Or one of the final fights, given the amount of history these two have. And of course, Diaz is going to be your toughest opponent because he is, a, well, a hybrid that looks like a human. However, I'm not going to take it easy on him at all. Okay, I'm going to do an offense drainer. I'm surprised I got a lot of those. Definitely going to use up all the stat items and thank god he never grappled me because I'm pretty sure that would have hurt a lot. Okay, I'm also going to use an offense enhancer. So I won't be able to do many attacks for a little while. In fact, I might as well use this opportunity to heal, too. He's not going to hold back on me. So I better make sure I get my healing done first. Just in case he gets a lucky shot on me and it happens to hurt. Man, he must really hate me. He wants me to die. Actually... I'm going to use one of my guns for a change. Okay, not bad. That's going to give me a little bit of breathing room. So, in fact, I might as well just use all the guns I have right now, well, provided they connect. Oh, go to weapon. Oh, yeah, I shot SP. Not bad. Not bad at all. So, I can just do a nice bit of damage here this way. Just keep him at bay. Then go to town. Okay, I'll just do a short combo of my own. Just to soften him up a little bit. There we go. I should also use a sun to increase my speed as well. That would be a good idea. Did I use a defense drainer on him? I don't think so. Oh, he's coming for me. Good. All these items I've been using have been paying off. Definitely want to drain his defense to make him a little bit weaker. I believe this guy has quite a finisher. Like, he can store, like, uh, more than five hits on his combo. And that makes him very lethal. So, I want to make sure that I do as much damage as possible with my guns. It seems like the pussy way to do it, but it works. You don't want to take any chances on this guy. Especially if he taunts you. If he wants you to come to him, do not do it. He's psyching you up and getting ready for a devastating maneuver. So just give it everything you got. At this point, I'm not worried. I want to use a speed drainer just in case because he's getting a little too fresh to me. I don't know if these things are permanent or they last for a little, a little while. Okay, that's going to slow him down. And he doesn't have any range moves of his own. And he doesn't have like one or two steps before he can execute a melee move. So I'm in a pretty good shape to win this fight. Thank god these, these trainers and enhancers still work in like the final fight. You would think after a while, oh, it doesn't work anymore. Diaz is immune to having his stats drained. But that's not the case, thankfully. As soon as I build up this final power meter, I am going to take you down, Diaz. Oh, God. Actually, this might still hurt. 79! Okay, maybe not. Oh, he's taunting me. Get out of there. Zero. Whew. Good thing I have been using those items. Oh, but man, he's not going to let me get a move on him. And if my head's down, I'm going to be a sitting duck. Okay. Let this be the finishing blow. Really? That was it? Man, those guns have made a world of difference, and here I was complaining about them at f in the past. But they were the unsung hero. 
So the fight seemed a little bit anticlimactic as a result, but hey, I just wanted to beat this guy after all the pain he's caused. But I still gotta get out of here. How am I gonna do it? Oh, the president decided to come back down? How thoughtful of you. Over here! Okay. I just really hate to have my fingers slip and then I drop back down again. It looks like we're in the clear at long last. We defeated the hybrids. We beaten Diaz. It's over. I came back because I knew you would be alive. Do you think I would leave behind the hero who single-handedly guarded the United States? Its president? And the whole world? Well, in the past I kinda did. The whole world with his own life? We're getting out of here now. God, let it be in time. Let's go home. Yeah, God, if there is a God, you can make us go a bit faster. Getting a bit worried. Just a little more. And if only we had the ability to climb walls. Oh, I think we made it. Run! Well, that's a little tribute to Demolition Man, if there ever was one. And watch how a train comes over and runs him over! The end! Oh god, I was right! I was only joking! Oh, never mind, we escaped. Just in the nick of time. Yeah, it would've felt really bad for that train driver if he ran over the president. Above ground. We're above ground again. The 24th. Yeah, it's Christmas Eve. Oh my god. Good lord, Johnny. Today's Christmas Eve. Johnny, go get yourself to the woman you love. Don't worry about me. It's not as though you haven't got something to do on Christmas Eve, is it? Other than Holly, maybe. And I've got to go home to my wife and daughter, too. Why is it that presidents always have daughters? There's something I have to do before that, though. Your secretary? I know that your position doesn't allow you to leave the president on his own. But I can't possibly lean on you till the very end. I'll take care of the fake president. Secret Service Agent Donnie Don Slater. You are on vacation effective this moment by presidential order. I thank you from the bottom of my heart, Johnny. Now, let's go. You know, you might want to get off the tracks. Yeah, let's just stay on the tracks and have a hug. Watch well, how another train comes over. Now he's on vacation for life because he's dead. Run over my train. Oh, Manhattan looks so beautiful on Christmas Eve. Some of the buildings are actually floating. Washington, D.C. Oh, that's pretty far to go, ain't it? I'm in a hurry. This way is faster than getting on a plane. Leave it to me, man. But today's Christmas Eve. It ain't Halloween, you know. I guess I do need to make a stop at a clothing store along the way. I thought you were in a hurry. Oh, stereotypical accents. We interrupt this broadcast for breaking news. An astounding event has just taken place in New York City where President Weller was scheduled to address <laughs> the nation tonight. The president was on the stage when he was attacked by a man, but it turned out that the assailant was, strangely enough, none other than President Weller himself? <laughs> oh, that makes the news interesting again if the president punches the fake president in the face. <laughs> When was the last time you had a presidential conference in like that? Well, maybe someone had a shoe thrown at him, but that's another story. Oh, 
that's one big ass Christmas tree. This ain't your Charlie Brown Christmas. It is so cold, I want to hug my boobs. And for some reason, my forehead was breathing out. Hey, don't get mad at me, Holly. I was trying to save the world, you know. I hope you enjoy that cab ride cost thirty-seven thousand dollars. Okay, was his shoulder exhaling? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Sorry, bitch, I got you nothing for Christmas except this corny credits. But anyways, that's it! That's Hybrid Heaven for the Nintendo 64! That was a very interesting game, to say the very least. I mean, is it the best game out there? Like I said, no. But I really hope they remake a game as similar to this. If not a sequel, then maybe they can remake this game with either the, on the PS3, PS4, or even on the 3DS. That would be very awesome! Okay, fine, maybe the PS Vita as well. But I really enjoyed this game. I thought, oh, well, maybe I wouldn't because it was a little too different, had a bit of a reputation. But despite its clunkiness with the camera and some of the movement, I really enjoyed how this game played out. Like, music was awesome, the battle system was incredible, and, well, the story itself was quite interesting. And it really just hooked you into it to the very end. So I would definitely give this game quite a recommendation, and hopefully it does get remade at some point in the future. Or even be put on the virtual console for the Wii U. That would be awesome as well. So anyways, I haven't decided what my next Let's Play is going to be, but anyways, this is the Bonga signing off saying goodbye, Godspeed, and stay tuned for my next Let's Play. Thanks for watching everybody, and I'll see you next time. I still can't help but feel, but this credits music sounds a bit RPG-ish. I'm not talking about just modern RPG, I mean like Japanese RPG. Oh, my total offense rate 94%, impressive!
160 S's, 22 S's, 12 A's, 14 B's, 3 C's, 5 D's, and 2 E's. Right middle kick, favorite finishing move. Hey, what can I say? I'm a kicker. Game all clear. Congratulations. Thank you for playing. Try hard mode next. Brought to you by the people that made Power Rangers. That's an inside joke. They always encourage you to play hard mode. I think again, Konami was guilty of that as well. Alright, goodbye everyone.